my lovely YouTubers, it's me, Morgan Tracy J, coming today to talk to you all about love yourself. You know, on my YouTube channel here, I've been doing a lot of work and I've been putting a lot of work into, you know, creating content and stuff like that. But one thing I think I have to always remember is to love myself. And we know that God calls us to, you know, love our father, love our neighbors, but we also do have to love ourselves. And and I don't mean just like if giving yourself a pamper night, which is great, but I mean like loving your heart, love, looking at you and say like, do I love me? Do I love the decisions that I'm making? Am I going against myself or am I like going for myself? Am I making decisions that is going to benefit me in the long run or am I going against myself? You know, for a lot of years in my life, I went against myself. I would have all these amazing ideas and this good judgment, but something inside, eventually I would make some left turns and do some crazy things and say some things that maybe wasn't even very nice. And I would realize that I wasn't fully loving myself because when you love yourself, you treat yourself better. <clears throat> and that was something I wasn't doing. And so a lot of times we know people who love themselves because we can tell how they treat themselves, which will re reflect in how other people treat them. But for me and myself, for a long time, I thought I loved myself. I thought putting on makeup and, and, and looking cute and being a woman of confidence was loving myself. But it really wasn't. Sometimes I was really just a woman of insecurity that wanted to put to portray confidence when I really just was so insecure. I want to tell you that loving yourself doesn't come by makeup. It doesn't come back from applause. It doesn't come from getting into relationships. It doesn't come from anything else but truly looking at yourself <clears throat> and looking at yourself if it's in a mirror, if it's in your own personal life, but examining your personal self and saying, do I love me? Do I love the pieces of me that even that are flawed? Do I love me? Can I love me? And you know, a lot of times we're going to realize that we don't really love ourselves. It's sad to say, but we maybe love ourselves in a future reference. Like when I get this blue, when I get to this, then I'll love myself. When I lose this, then I'll love myself. When I make more money, then I'll be able to really love myself. And I want to tell you, that's never how it should be. What we should do is we continue to come to God about these issues in our hearts, saying, God, I don't love myself like I should. God, I still have other voices in my head telling me what I'm not enough of. God, I still have past lovers' voices. I still got their views, Father God. I still got ex-boyfriends. I still got this dude. I still got that friend. God, help me love myself. Because I know when I can love me, then I can reflect that love on others. But I know that I have to be able to love me, to be better, to be a better mother, a sister, a friend, a daughter. I've got to be better. I've got to be able to love myself. And the thing about it is it's a, it's a journey and it's a process. And am I there yet? Heck no. Okay? But what I want to tell you is God will take you in and he will love you in such a way that shows you what true love is. What the ultimate love is. Not a love of compromise or put away your morals, but a love that, hey daughter, I don't care about your insecurities. I don't care if you fell down yesterday. I don't care if you slid back into sin. I just need you to come back to me, God, so I can show you really what love is. Because you keep settling for these off-brand versions. And the truth is, guys, is a lot of times I notice that I don't love myself. I can take a photo and I can say, Morgan, oh my gosh. You know, I can do something. I can even record a video and just look at all my flaws. And I'm like, Morgan, like, don't be so hard on yourself. And the number one thing, guys, we have to remember is that we can be our toughest critics. So if we are always pointing out negative things within ourselves, it's all we're ever going to see. And I want to tell you today, if you really want to love yourself, Tell the Father. Tell the Father your issues. Tell the Father your insecurities. Tell him how you feel with no makeup, without makeup. Tell him how you feel without weave. Tell him how you feel when you just look at yourself in the mirror naked. Tell him the things that just really harbor your heart. The more you begin to speak to God and open your mouth to God on these things, the more you will realize that these things will no longer hold you captive, but you actually will be set free. They won't have to hold you bound to those things anymore, but you actually can walk out and help somebody else. I want to tell you, you're not alone in these insecurities. You're not alone in feeling unworthiness. You're not alone in that, and God knows that you're not 
not alone. He wants me to relay a message to tell you you're not alone. And even for me, when worthy unworthiness comes over me and the thoughts of not being good enough come over me, God remembers to tell me I'm not alone and he can bring me out of that. And I want to say the same thing for you. You don't have to live in bondage. The insecurities that was your mother's and your sister's and your friend's don't have to be yours. The ways that people used to do things around you, you don't have to pick those up. And I want to tell you, God can take set you free from these things. He can allow you to love yourself in ways that you've never loved yourself. He can, allow you to, he can allow you to look upon yourself in a mirror and see beauty and not ugliness and tantiness and perversion. He can allow you to see so many new things about yourself. But first, we have to come to him and we have to be open and we have to be vulnerable and we have to humble ourselves and tell him just how broken we really are how when I look at myself and when I and I'm comparing myself God and I don't feel like I'm enough God and I feel like you never talk to me God I feel like you're too distant God God where are you why do you love her more than you love me why do you shower her with blessings more than you shower me God why are they uprising but I'm still low when you tell God these things he will start to work in your behalf and then the spiritual things start happening so when the natural they can come forth I want to tell you God does not want us to live this way he wants us to live openly with with his love with no boundaries he wants us to live freely in him but a lot of times we're not willing to open up our mouth and proclaim that God or even profess or confess our sins to God about the things that are on our hearts and the things that we touched and got contaminated with I want to tell you today daughters of God God is saying love yourself but before you can truly love yourself you've got to come to him you can't love yourself on your own you have to come to the father and let him build you up and speak life into you when it says faith comes by hearing the word of God and not even just the book the words of God but with the voices that God's going to put into your heart and that vision and that fire and that power that he's going to put with inside you I want to tell you today daughters of God God wants to lift you up he doesn't want you to sit in sin he doesn't want you to sit in unworthiness he doesn't want you to sit in this lack of confidence and lack of self-love God wants you to feel loved he wants you to feel worthy but you got to come to him first and quit trying to get it from other people out there you gotta quit trying to get it from other things and, and credentials and all these things but honestly not no numbers nothing you gotta get it from him and I say all this and I'm preaching right back to myself okay I'm saying all this but I'm speaking into my own personal heart that we gotta get the love from him not a friend not a boyfriend not someone that tells us we're cute not someone on a dating app we gotta get it from him so today I want to tell you, if you really want to love yourself, go to the Father and get that love. All right? I love you so much, guys. I pray you got blessed by this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.